Well, Levy Middlebrook was a very, very highly recruited athlete out of St. Ignatius High School in San Francisco, and uh, we beat a lot of people on him. Levy Middlebrook. He was a kid that I recruited out of San Francisco, and he, of course, played for Coach Eric and our staff, and he had a great impact on the program. He was a, a wonderful player, and as good a player as he was, he's a better person. Levy and I go way back uh, to 1984, and it's scary to think that it's uh, 31 years ago. First time I met him, he and I came in as freshmen, and I know the coaching staff, uh, Coach Herrick and Coach Asbury, were very excited about Levy, um, watching him in high school and the promise that he had here uh, at Pepperdine. Levy and I were very close. Um, he had a very, he was a, he was a giant man, but he had a very soft personality to him. We connected right off the bat, especially because he threw me the ball a lot, so we connected tremendously. He was one of those guys, once you got him motivated, he would put up unbelievable numbers. 240 pounds, a four-year starter here at Pepperdine. Started four years in a row. He was a freshman of the year. We went to the NCAA tournament, won the conference championship in 85. 86, we won it again, and, and uh, I went to the NCAA tournament. We missed a year in 87, and then in 88, went to the NIT. Uh, and Levy was the West Coast Conference Player of the Year in 1988. Well, Levy came in, and he, he was a terrific player right as when he walked in the door. He was uh, started as a freshman. He played, if I recall, over 1,000 minutes as a freshman and was physically mature, mentally tough enough to come in and play right from the very start. Well, he made your job easier, especially as a point guard. Um, I knew where he wanted the ball. Um, I knew which side or what angle that he wanted the ball. Um, again, him being as big and strong as he was, uh, he, he made life easier for me as a point guard. Just getting the ball, he was going to do. He was going to do the rest with it. And the gods gave him the most unbelievable body you could ever imagine. Um, he was. I mean, he was just sculpt. Uh, I mean, a six-seven guy that was built about 245, 250. I mean, the gods were very good to him and his body. When you walk in, you see Levy Middlebrooks, and you go, wow, look at this guy. He must have been in a weight room. Never went in a weight room. I mean, he was sculptured. Probably had a 34-inch waist. And you looked at him, and, and he, just a splendid-looking athlete. Levy Middlebrooks, 6 feet 7 inches tall, 240 pounds of dynamite. Had a great mental disposition towards the game. He was a great competitor and he was in amazing condition. He'd play 40 minutes in a game and you wouldn't even know he'd hardly worked up a sweat. He was in ter terrific condition. He could dominate a game in many ways and the scary thing is I think he probably could have done more. And there was times where he's shown and you're like, wow, this guy can do a lot of things. Uh, but it was always a joy to, uh, to be on the court with him. A guy for his size and his strength to be able to do what he's capable of doing and be still explosive and agile and be able to have shoot the basketball, it's hard to find a combination like that. And then on the floor, he was, he was magnificent. He played hard every game, and, and uh, he, was just, he was just fun to play with. And, you know, our players would kind of get after Levy a little bit, you know. I used to make up stories to him before games. And so he goes, come on, Louie. He always called me Louie. Louie, you got to tell me what, what's going on. And so I said, well, I walked by the coaches out there, and they were going over to the scouting report of our game. And, you know, they were talking about personnel, and they brought your name up. And the, the quote of the head coach was, we don't need to guard him. He's not very good. Let's just concentrate on other players. You know, you'd see Levy, his kind of nose would just flare up and Flames would be coming out of his ears. He went out and got 25 and about 15, and we beat him in there. He understood what the mission of the university was. He had a good religious background, a good faith, and I think that that, was a, that melded together to, to be a great working situation for him. Just a, a wonderful young man, and he got along great with everybody, the professors and other coaches and everybody on campus to stop the world of him. He's a kind-hearted person. He's a caring person. Uh, he's always smiling, he's always upbeat. He's a great ambassador for the school. What he has achieved as a person and what he is like as a person and how he comes across. Well deserving, I don't want to say past due, but it's certainly coming on now and I, I know you'll make the most out of your, your current situation. I know you've got a little boy now you're proud of and I'm just extremely happy for you and your family.